In this lecture, I'm going to discuss moving, rotating, and scaling actors within the viewport by using the Move, Rotate, and Scale tools. So, how do you use the Move, Rotate, and Scale tools? Well, when you select an object, you will automatically be ready to use one of the three tools, depending on which of the three are selected at that moment. To see which tool is selected, look at the top of the viewport at these three icons here. From left to right, these three icons represent the Move, Rotate, and Scale tools. Whichever tool is currently selected will have an orange background. You can change between the tools by clicking on their icons, or better yet, use the shortcut keys W, E, and R to switch between them. The W, E, and R keys are in a row on the keyboard and activate the Move, Rotate, and Scale tools in the same order as those icons appear on the screen. So the W key will activate the Move tool, the E key will activate the Rotate tool, and the R key will activate the Scale tool. If you forget what the shortcut keys are, just hover over the icon and it will tell you in parentheses at the end of the description. So if I select this chair and I press the W key, I can use the Move tool to move it about my level. You can see there are three different colored arrows coming out of the chair. These three arrows are aligned with the X, Y, and Z axes of the level. If I want to move my chair in just one direction, all I have to do is left click on one of the arrows and use the mouse to move the chair back and forth in that direction. So no matter what direction I drag my mouse in, the chair will only move along this axis. If I want to move the chair in this direction, I just need to select the green arrow instead. And if I want to move it up and down, I would use the blue arrow. So what if I want to move the chair in two dimensions, but not the third? To do that, I just need to click on the connector between those axes. So for example, let's say I already have my chair here perfectly aligned with the floor, so I don't want to mess that up, but I do want to change where the chair is located otherwise. I just need to click on this connector between the X and Y axes, and I can move the chair forward, backwards, left and right, but not vertical in any direction, so that it remains perfectly aligned with the floor. And what if I want to move an actor in all three dimensions at once? All I need to do is select this white sphere in the middle and drag the mouse, and I can move the chair in any direction I like. You can also select multiple actors and move them all at once. To select multiple actors, once the first actor is selected, hold down the control button and continue to left click on each additional actor you wish to select. Note that the move tool will only be visible on the last actor selected, but if you look up in the world outliner, all the selected actors will be highlighted. And if I use the move tool, it will apply to all selected actors. Now, let's say I have the camera positioned exactly how I want it on my actor, and I want to move the actor, but I don't want to disturb the camera position. Or let's say I want to move the actor far off the current edge of the viewport, and I don't want to have to keep moving the actor, then the camera, then the actor, and so on. What should I do? By holding down the Shift key while using the Move tool, the camera will move right along with the actor. Note that this only works when moving in one or two dimensions. It doesn't work if you grab the white sphere in the middle and try to move in three directions. In that case, it won't even let you move the object until you release the shift key. So again, this is useful if you want to move your actor while keeping the camera focused on it in the exact same way, or if you want to move the actor some distance off the screen and don't want to have to keep moving back and forth between moving the actor and camera. Okay, so if you want to make a copy of an actor, one way to do that is to select that actor and press Control W. But another way to make a copy of an actor is, when you're using the Move tool, if you hold down the Alt key, when you go to move an actor, instead of moving that actor, it will make a copy of that actor 
which you will now be moving along that axis. So you can hold down the Alt key to drag out copies of actors. All right, so moving on to the Rotate tool. If you remember, I used the W key to select the Move tool. If I press the E key, which is directly to the right of the W key on a standard keyboard, I will now be using the Rotate tool. Using the Rotate tool, I can now rotate my actor around any of the three axes. So if I left click on this red arc here, I can rotate this chair around the X axis. If I click and drag on the green arc, I can rotate the chair around the Y axis. And if I click and drag on the blue arc, I can rotate the chair around the Z axis. And similar to the Move tool, if I hold down the Alt key, when I go to rotate an actor, it will instead make a copy of that actor, which I can then rotate out of the original actor. All right, so moving on to the scale tool. If I press the R key, I will now be using the scale tool. The scale tool allows you to make your actors bigger or smaller. So using the same concept as the move tool, I can increase or decrease the size along just one axis at a time. Or I can adjust size two dimensions at a time by clicking and dragging on one of the connectors between the axes. Or I can change the overall size of the actor uniformly by clicking on the white square in the middle and dragging the mouse. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the concept of world space versus local space. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say my chair is rotated a bit here from its default rotation. And let's say I'm using the move tool. If this box here displays an icon of the earth, it means that these axes here are oriented to world space. That means that no matter which way the chair is rotated, these arrows will always point in the same direction and thus the chair will always move in the same direction relative to the world. However, if I click on this box or use the shortcut control tilde, this icon will change to a gray cube, which means that the axes are now oriented to local space. In this case, the local space of the chair. So if I toggle between the two, you can see the difference. So now if I'm in local space and I move the chair, it will move in these new directions that the axes are pointed in. And the same with the rotate tool. If I'm in world space, I can rotate the chair like so. And if I'm in local space, I can rotate the chair around the locally oriented axes. This setting does not apply, however, to the scale tool. The scale tool will always be in local space and it won't allow you to toggle when the scale tool is selected. So again, world space makes the axes point relative to the world, while local space makes the axes point relative to the actor. And that will conclude the lecture on moving, rotating, and scaling actors within the viewport.